are at Steep Point and I'm so excited to get to Dirk Hartog Island and there's only one way to get there, on the barge. Hi Kieran, how are you? Hi Emma, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. I've never been to Dirk Hartog before so I'm so excited. Oh, it's a great spot so let's get your car on board and uh, get you across there. Alright, let's do it. Dirk Hartog Island is around 800 kilometres from Perth. It's a pretty easy trip for most of it, but you will need a four-wheel drive to get to South Passage. This is where you can put your car on the barge. The 20-minute scenic trip is a great way to start off the holiday, and although the barge operates year-round, the best time to visit Dirk Hartog is between April and August. I'm here at beautiful Dirk Hartog Island with Kieran. Can you tell me a little bit about the island? Yeah, well Dirk Hartog was discovered in 1616, which made it the first recorded landing of a European in Western Australia. So almost 400 years ago. Tell me a bit about the homestead. How come it's here? Yeah, so the island's been a sheep station since um, 1890, and then my family took over in uh, the late 60s and now we've given it back to the state government and they've turned it into a national park. So um, they've got rid of all the sheep and the goats and they're gonna um, start reintroducing endangered species off the mainland and turn the island into a, like an ark for endangered animals. And so in um, five to 10 years, this place will be the breeding ground for all those little marsupials that need to be saved. Thanks, Kieran. I can't wait to get going. I'm going to pack the car and head up to Turtle Bay. We were ready to head north and the boys and I settled back into our trusty patrol for the two to three hour drive. I had another vehicle with me towing a tinny as a group of us met together to go camping and fishing at the northern end of the island. The sun lit up the ocean as we traversed stunning sand dunes, cliffs and beaches and we stopped frequently to let the boys race up the dunes and to watch turtles rising and stingrays cruise along the quiet, picturesque beaches. The drive was truly spectacular and we felt like we were the only ones on the island. And with only 15 private vehicles allowed at any one time, the island never gets too busy. We found a small but private stretch of beach, which I hope will be high enough to keep us dry from the high tide line. As we were staying for the week, we set up the camper, Oz tents, and even a camp kitchen. It's remote camping up here. There are no facilities, so you have to bring absolutely everything, including plenty of fresh water. Campsites can be booked online, but it's wise to book well in advance, particularly during peak periods. The first morning, we were keen to wander up to the point, just 100 metres from camp, to see if there are a few fish around. Ozzy, well done. We're just fishing off the beach here using little lures. The kids have been casting and there's so many fish off the point here. Austin's caught this great little trevally. Did it put up a fight? Yeah. It sure did. Hang on. I think Bailey's nearly on. It's all happening here at the moment. Let's get this one off and see if we can get another one. Yeah. Okay. There he goes. Oh, look. Bailey's on as well. Say goodbye to this fish. Bailey, what have you got? What you got? Was that the biggest fish you've caught? Did it fight hard? It is so much fun catching all these fish here at Dirk Hardog Island. The kids have had a ball casting from the beach here. Got a whole heap of fish. Come and give it a go. You'll love it. There is so much to offer visitors, such as snorkeling, fishing, scuba diving, camping, bird watching, exploring, four-wheel driving and visiting historical sites. The Eco Lodge is open from March until November. Camping and four-wheel drive transfers are available year-round. We're here at Cape Inscription. This is where Dirk Hartog landed in 1616. Next year marks the 400 year anniversary. We've had a week here at Dirk Hartog. We've stayed at the homestead and camped at Whitnall Bay and had an excellent time, but we've only touched on what the island's got to offer. I really recommend you come and have a look. If you want more information, go to the Dirk Hartog website. It's a fantastic place.